Hello, good afternoon. This is David Sutter talking to you. And today I want to talk to you about finding the perfect entry. Okay. And how we do this is by looking at multiple trend lines. Okay. And looking at multiple time frames. So this is very, very important when you're trading Forex. So to begin with, it don't matter what currency pair. Uh, for this example, I just picked out AED CAD. I was looking at some I was looking through some different currency pairs and I saw this one that kind of stood out and looked like a good example that I could make a video on. So I want to kind of show you this. To start with, we go to a weekly chart, okay? And I'll just start a weekly. Monthly to me, to me a monthly is too broad. Okay. But you can find a nice uh, large trend on a weekly. And if I zoom in a bit, okay. We see right here we have an up arrow, okay? This is a media up arrow. And you can eyeball this and tell it's been going in an uptrend. And long term, it's definitely going to be going up. Probably back up to where these red arrows are up here. Okay. And that's going to take probably months. You know, maybe another year before that goes back up to that level. Okay. So, I don't like to be in trades for that long. That long of a time. So, what I like to do is uh, just mark my large trend my large trend and that way at least I have a support of resistance that I can work with okay when I compare it to the smaller time frames so right now we know we're an uptrend right so let's let's draw an arrow from this point up okay and this is not a hundred percent perfect because this line broke right here but we can clearly see that this is an uptrend right and if we zoom out let me show you something else I noticed we zoom out, we have this uh, candle right here that I touched. This is way back, way back in 2008, just over 10 years ago. But the thing is, if we connect this one also, all right, watch this. If we connect this also, we see that, <clears throat> that yes, this point here and these points all connect with that other point that you know was 10 years ago so in a sense you know we have two big trends on the weekly all right we do have two different uptrends and what will probably happen you know i'm not 100 percent certain what i think will happen is that this price will break this trend line and come back down to this trend line and bounce off again it's impossible to tell you know but at least I have this marked as a reference okay so I kind of get an idea of what the market's going to do we know that this trend line here is pretty solid okay now let's look down to another the next smaller time frame and see what we can find here all right so we have this uh, trend line here I probably could adjust this a little bit if I come up here to this point and draw like that oops I don't know ah I'm not liking that I'm trying to all right that's close enough so if we have this point this point this one broke a little bit and this point connect we see we have an uptrend right here okay so those are our two uh uptrends these are I, I labeled them blue for support okay so we know these are our support levels now let's look at some resistance levels all right and if we notice here on the daily let me zoom out we kind of we kind of have a downtrend coming here okay let me show you what i mean Okay, I'm going to color this red. But if I come from this point here down to here, all right, I'm going to label this red for resistance. Okay, so I know it broke here. That's obvious, but we do see we have this point, this point, these, all these points here, like four or five points that match up perfect. All right, so that's a clear downtrend meeting this larger uptrend all right so 
what's going to happen is right now if we zoom in let me zoom in a bit we see the price is bouncing off of this and it's coming back up and it's going to come back up to this level here and touch this trend line bounce off again either it's going to break this trend line and keep going up or it's going to come back down to this level all right impossible to say at this point it is looking really looking like it's going to break this red trend line and keep going up further but you know at this point in time there's no way to tell we just have this as a reference right now and let's go down to the four hour chart and look at the four hour okay so on the four hour chart we see the uptrend and the downtrend and we also see another immediate downtrend all right coming here come from this point down to here okay I'm going to label this red as well because this is a resistance all right these points are bouncing off of here we see this up arrow here and it has touched this trend line and it's come back down a bit so now let's look down the next smaller time frame the one hour and see what we can see here and now we see a red down arrow so that means that okay this is coming back down now and it'll probably come back down towards this uh, level of support if I could if I bring this up a bit oops if I bring this up just a hair I can't grab this for some reason why did I not grab that well anyways I'm not going to sit and play with that it's close enough but what we can we can guesstimate is that this price is going to drop and come back down to here now looking at this we can see yet another trend line all right uptrend all right I'm gonna label this one blue for support all right and uh, draw it right here okay this one's gonna be blue color so this is a support level this is a definite uptrend all right now let's drop down to a 30 minute time frame and see what we can see on the 30 minute it looks pretty much the same okay we have all these points here that matched up and we look drop to a 15 minute now in the 15 minute we have an up arrow here all right and if we drop to a five minute we see pretty much the same thing all right what I predict is gonna happen here for the next hour all right this price is gonna shoot back up to this trend line and then it's gonna come back down to this trend line and break and it's gonna drop all the way to this trend line all right so if we go back to the one hour let's go back to the one hour all right so we have multiple trend lines but basically um, we can tell that the price is gonna shoot back up touch this red trend line or you know or come close okay you don't have to exactly but it's gonna come up somewhere up here and then it's gonna shoot back down and break and uh, come down to this trend line so what we can do what we can do as traders okay is come back down to the five minute so I can zoom in a bit set a pendant order a sell limit pendant order up here okay watch this I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna choose uh, pendant order and then I'm gonna choose sell limit okay and I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use this tick point right here for my entry I can adjust it but for right now I'm just gonna use that say 0 0.94880 all right I'm gonna place that I'm not gonna put a take profit yeah see me let me put that a little bit higher okay, I'm gonna use this tick point here now okay so we can predict the price to come back up to this uh, red line and I wanted to trip this and if it goes up higher a bit higher that's okay I have a little bit of drawdown but no problem because eventually it's going to come back down it's going to break all right 
and it's going to drop quite a ways. It's going to drop, you know, down to this level of support. It may not come all the way down to this trend line, but that's okay. And what I can do also, in addition, is place a buy limit pendant order. Okay, I'm going to show you this also. I'm going to place a buy limit pendant order. I'm going to put this at 0 0.94. Uh, 560. I'm just using this tick mark right here, kind of eyeballing this. <clears throat> All right, and uh, that's that's not so bad right there. Okay, <clears throat> so this will come up. I'll have one trade activated, hopefully, that will come up, and then it'll it'll drop a few hundred points. If I drop, get my crosshairs. Okay, we can see that. It'll come down to this level, that's, you know, at least 300 points. All right, that I can catch, and then close that trade out, and that should close within one day. All right, and then within a 24-hour period, 24, 48 hours max, but usually within a 24-hour period that will close, and then when this trade activates, I'll do the same thing. Okay, I'll wait for the price to come back up to this level and close it out as well so i'll have a trade one day and then the next day i have another trade going back up and you can sell that the all the forest market is just nothing but a bunch of patterns all right ups and downs all day long so that's how we want to kind of pinpoint our entry points okay look at all these different time frames and draw multiple time frames to see all of our different supports and resistances and we can tell which way the price is going to be going okay and once we do that then we can say okay the price is going to go here in the next hour and then it's going to drop to here and then by tomorrow or the next day it should come down to this level okay as a forex trader that's what we want to look at we want to look at where the price is going where it's right now and long term where is it going to go okay so we can get an overall idea of what the market is going to do. All right. So I hope this, you know, helps you a little bit in your trading. I'm sure it's going to be a little confusing, especially if you're brand new to Forex. I know that all this was confusing to me in the beginning. But if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook account. You can contact me there. Also, there is a link below in the description of this video for my private Facebook group. If you have not joined my Facebook group, please do so. That way you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group and myself or other traders can assist you and we can have an open discussion about this as well. Okay, so uh, with that said, uh, please contact me. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be more than happy to help you. Okay, thank you and have a wonderful day.